So how do you tell if your okra is ready or not? We have so many different varieties and it's not just the just traditional clumps and where you want them about this big or even smaller. We have Jing, we have a red, um, sorry, I'm going blank on this one. But because they're all different varieties and because we believe that these have been hybridized possibly with a Star of David, um, it's kind of hard to tell because some of them get bigger than others. But I always do the listen test. So how I do that is I'll give it a cut. And if I hear that crunchy sound, then I know that it's overripe and we could use that for seeds or actually you can make okra clauses out of them, Christmas ornaments. But if I keep cutting them, so we'll do another one. And we hear no sound, so we know that it's gonna be good. And then we take another one, and we give it a cut. Now I'm already gonna bet that this one is, I'm gonna hear a nice crunchy sound. And we do, we know that is way too ripe. You can make coffee as well. I hear that you can roast the seeds and we're gonna try that with some of those bigger ones. Again, I'm gonna cut this one and I'm gonna guess this one might be okay. And yeah, I don't hear a sound. So one more time, really close. I don't hear anything. So it usually is okay. This one I'm gonna guess is too big. This is one of our reds, our crimson. Oh no, see that is tender. So that means that it's gonna be just fine to cook. And we'll keep going. This one, and see, surprise, because this came from the very same plant. This one's really big and this one's not. So I like to do my little test, but I don't like to mar them up too bad. Um, and then I wanna use them as soon as I mar them. This one I bet is gonna be okay. Yep, we hear nothing. This one, debatable, it's kind of pale. So I'm guessing it might sound crunchy, but no. And then look, this one does, go figure. Woof, big old crunch. See the other variety, I'm sorry, I've gone blank on this name. Ooh, and see, that's a nice long one, but we hear no sound when we cut. No sound. And the rest of these, I can pretty much bet just because of the way that they feel that they're gonna be just fine. So that's how I test to see if my okra is ready, if it's a little on the bigger side, like this one.